arguments for gay marriage is not made with particular texts, but with the general conviction that the Bible is bent toward inclusiveness. So here's the other line of argumentation that people use. We're just talking about a couple of obscure verses in Leviticus. By the way, that line is almost a direct quote of our president-elect, who on March 5th said this, I don't think same-sex unions should be called marriage, but I think that it is a legal right that they should have that is recognized by the state. If people find that controversial, then I would just refer them to the Sermon on the Mount, which I think is, in my mind, for my faith, more central than an obscure passage in Romans. President-elect Barack Obama.